This is a weather briefing from the National Weather Service in Blacksburg recorded on Wednesday morning, September 30th at about 9.15 a.m. Extreme flooding will be possible late this week through the weekend. We have already seen significant flooding across our area over the past 24 to 36 hours, and unfortunately it looks like more of the same, if not worse, uh, flooding will arrive late in this week through the weekend. We are forecasting several rounds of rain, heavy at times, that will return late tonight and increase in intensity late Thursday through the weekend and continuing potentially into early next week depending on the track of Joaquin. With stream levels already very high and flooded along with the saturated ground, extreme and widespread flooding will be possible during this time frame. In addition, we are concerned about winds increasing to gust over 20 miles per hour, especially east of the Blue Ridge, beginning late Thursday into Friday with potentially stronger gusts by the time we get into the weekend and early next week, again, depending on the track of Joaquin. Our confidence is high that we, we will see additional flooding, but the confidence is low with regard to where the heaviest rain will, will fall and during what time frame. The impacts from this event will be serious and life-threatening with flooding over a large portion of the area during this prolonged event. Major flooding on rivers will be possible, especially along and east of the Blue Ridge. In addition, with the saturated ground and heavy rainfall rates with the second round of rain expected to arrive late Thursday night, especially on Friday, landslides, debris flows are expected. Power outages could be widespread depending on how strong the winds uh, below this weekend and early next week. That's why it is imperative that you monitor the forecast from now through early next week as we refine the rainfall amounts and wind gusts and impacts uh, with this uh, prolonged event. You can see the graphic on the right showing the first forecast for the cumulative rainfall from now through Monday morning, potentially over 8 to 10 inches in the eastern part of our forecast area with widespread rainfall uh, totals in excess of three inches. But again, this will change and will be refined uh, over the next several days. Let's look at this in more detail. Here is the estimated rainfall that has fallen across our area over the past seven days. Widespread areas of eight plus inches of rain from the high country of northwest North Carolina and the foothills into the Piedmont and southern Blue Ridge of Virginia. Some gauge sites in Patrick County, including Woolwine, have reported rainfall amounts in excess of 15 inches. So today we have this cold front that is pushing through our area that is bringing just slightly drier conditions. We do not anticipate flooding concerns today. However, by late in of the day and especially tonight we have another area of low pressure developing along this front that will move north and east along the front reintroducing uh, chances for precipitation first across northwest North Carolina overnight tonight and then spreading northeastward across the rest of the forecast area. This rain continues into Thursday and into Thursday night then we have another wave of low pressure Thursday night into early Friday that will draw in even deeper moisture heavier rainfall rates of uh, for this time frame late in the week. Here's how one computer model shows this evolving. Here's the forecast for a midnight tonight. You can see that first wave generating showers, maybe some embedded thunderstorms across the uh, southern and western portions of our forecast area. During this time frame, it lifts northeast with widespread rain on, early, on Thursday morning. And then the next wave of low pressure you can see brings precipitation back into our area from the east Thursday night into Friday. This is the forecast Friday morning. Widespread precipitation over the forecast area through the entire day on Friday. How much rain do we expect to fall? This will really vary depending on where those bands of heavier rain develop. But the first forecast through Thursday morning shows potentially greater than an inch in the high country of northwest North Carolina uh, into the Piedmont and the southern portions of Virginia. An inch of rain may not seem a lot, but with the uh, saturated ground that we have, this may cause some localized flooding late tonight, early tomorrow morning. Then as we get into Thursday and Thursday night, here is where, where the next round of heavy rain arrives from the east, anywhere from three quarters of an inch to an inch and a half of rain expected with the heaviest amounts east of the Blue Ridge and in the eastern part of our forecast area. Then that second wave brings the deeper moisture, heavier rainfall rates. Uh, this is when some of the uh, more serious impacts will begin. This is on Friday. You can see anywhere from one to four inches of rain uh, during this 24-hour period from Friday into Friday night. 
After that, we then turn our attention to Joaquin. Uh, this is showing where the computer models are suggesting Joaquin will um, move over the next several days. There is starting to get, there's starting to be some consensus that Joaquin will shift. Uh, north and eastward as this area of low pressure across the southeast United States draws this back somewhere in the mid-Atlantic region. So then we'll, we will have to deal with the winds and moisture with Joaquin uh, if that forecast pans out. Again, the first forecast for precipitation totals through Monday morning, anywhere from 3 to 10 inches that will change. Again, another concern will be the winds that will be increasing Thursday night. This is the uh, wind gust forecast that only goes out uh, through Friday. So here's the forecast for Friday evening. You see some wind gusts over 20 miles per hour along and east of the Blue Ridge. Uh, and those winds may increase even stronger as we get into the weekend, again, depending on that track of Joaquin. Some of the ensemble model forecasts for area rivers, you see a lot of purple, and that is not good. That is forecasting a 30 to 70 percent chance of major flooding along many of the rivers in our forecast area, including the Greenbrier, the James, the Roanoke, and the Dan Rivers. I cannot stress enough uh, how serious this event could be. Again, please check back on our website at weather.gov slash Blacksburg for headlines, watches, and warnings that very likely will be issued over the next several days. We also will be making posts about this upcoming event on our Facebook and Twitter pages. And please continue to submit your reports to the National Weather Service, and please stay safe. Later updates will be posted um, later in the week as we get more information. Thank you for your time.